Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you the different types and kinds of ads you can run on Google and reach your audience all over the internet. Hello, I'm Ozair and thanks for joining in. In this video, I'm going to show you the different types and kinds of ads you can run on Google and reach your audience all over the internet rather than just on the Google page. So most think that the only ads which we can run on Google are the ones which come up on the Google page. So if I were to go to say buy iPhone and you'll see the ads which appear at the at the top. So there are four ads and there's some uh, shopping ads on the right hand side. So here's how I would run my text ads and these are the ones which I'm talking about. So let's open up my notepad and we'll put in text ads and these are on the search network. So the first one I'm going to run is by keyword targeting. So when someone puts in a keyword or a key phrase like buy iPhone or whatever keyword you are targeting, your ad can potentially uh, come up. So that is by targeting the keyword. Um, the second one I'm going to run an ad campaign is on brand. So if your brand is quite famous or popular and people know of your brand or your company, instead of putting in your URL, they will put in the name of your company or your brand and then click on the organic uh, listings if you do have one. But if you don't have any organic rankings, then the best way is to uh, be at the top of the Google page is run a run an ad now the brand campaigns are very low on cost the cost per click is very low because there aren't many advertisers um, because why would other companies uh, bid on your uh, brand name other than your competitors so you can do the same for your competitors if you wish to show your ad when somebody puts in your competitor's name then it's a great way to come up um, on the google uh, page one so the brand campaign is by targeting your your brand term or keyword the other one which is very important is what i called remarketing on the search network and that is called the RLSA remarketing list for search ads so if somebody has searched for your brand before and then they go back to Google and search again then potentially your ad can come up here so those are the remarketing I would call it text ads uh, just to keep it simple for you but the uh, the technical term is the RLSA then I would also set up a campaign targeting my competitors. So if somebody searches, you know, if I'm Apple and somebody puts in buy Samsung Galaxy, then potentially the Apple's ad may come up as well. So that's also uh, a very sneaky way to uh, get in front of someone who is searching for your competitors, um, keywords, brand or products. Okay, so that is the search network. Then we move on to the Google display network. Now, if you thought that uh, the party is at on the Google page, it isn't because this is where the big party is. This is where most people are. Uh, we are searching, surfing, all over the internet and potentially we can uh, show our ads in front of our um, audience so i'm going to show you what the gdn is all about so let's say you go to a newspaper ad uh, uh, like about newspapers uh, website so that's an ad over here 
um, that doesn't look like a Google ad, but usually it comes up over here as well. Um, that's a ad. So you can see th there are different sizes where uh, these uh, newspapers and websites have monetized with Google ads and advertisers can target those websites. So let's say if I were to go to, so I go to ESPN to check my cricket scores uh, quite a few times a day actually. Um, I pretty much live over here. So I can see a very big ad on at the top and there might be a little ad on here. So that is from Wordstream. Uh, this is a 300 by 250 and this one is 970 by 250. And they are great from the branding perspective. If nobody clicked on these ads, uh, this advertiser will get free advertising. So if you want to raise awareness for your brand product or services, I would highly recommend that you uh, run text image ads on the Google uh, Display Network. Okay, so we move on to the next one, which is, where is my notepad gone? Okay, so we got image or banner ads, which I've just shown you. Just gonna okay then you can also run text ads on the GDN which is obviously the Google display network so just like you can run image ads you can also run uh, text ads and then you can also run remarketing ads so if somebody has been to your website and they are pixeled in and let's say they went on to ESPN or Huffington Post, Independent, New York Times or wherever uh, they go on the website and Google can place an ad, your remarketing ads can potentially show up. So it doesn't need to be a, in a website which is in your, in your niche where customers are visiting. They can go to pretty much any kind of website and if Google can place an ad on there, uh, your ads can uh, can show up. So it's it's a great way to to remarket to your visitors. And these uh, remarketing ads just keep on raising awareness because these are the little touch points wherever uh, they go, your ads show up. But you need to take caution and not overdo it. Some companies uh, run remarketing campaigns very aggressively. And it really cheeses people off because wherever they go or turn to, that same ad um, is on their screen. So I would recommend no more than three times a day as uh, total impressions. And you will find that you are uh, achieving your goals of reaching your, your audience. Okay, so that is the GDN. Then we move on to video or YouTube. Obviously, YouTube is owned by Google. It's the second largest search engine in the world. So there is massive amount of traffic and audiences uh, which you can uh, target and dip into. Okay, th so the first one is what we call the pre-roll ad. So when you click play on a YouTube uh, video, an ad shows up or an ad shows up m midway through a video. And these are what we call the pre-roll ads. So you can target certain videos, channels, um, and show your video ads on these videos. So let's move over to YouTube. And I've got one over here, which is Gary uh, V's channel. So you will see that wherever these are, the yellow dots are, that's where uh, the ads are going to show up. So let's play this and okay so that ad has popped up so this is an in display ad so it's an image ad there's an ad over there 
and let's move fast forward this video and see if there is a an in-stream ad which is a video ad so you can put up image or a banner ad on there on a video as well as on the watch uh, page we call it on the right hand side okay let's see what comes up now and you you would have seen these kinds of ads come up loads of times so this video has been monetized or this channel has been monetized with um, with ads okay it hasn't come up yet it's typical isn't it when we do want when we don't want the ads to come up they do and when we do want the ads to show up they don't yeah of course it's always the case like that uh, okay I'm just gonna wait one more second and see if it comes up otherwise I'll move on to some other video oh there you go so that's an ad so that's a video ad things happen to my microphone okay so that's a video ad all right so let's move on to my notepad okay so then we have image ads on YouTube as well then you can also do remarketing image ads as well as remarketing video ads so what happens is if you have got a video on YouTube and let's say someone watches a video, we can put that person in into our remarketing list and then tell Google to show your video ads on other people's videos when they go and watch as a remarketing ad. So that is also a very powerful strategy to get your uh, brand in front of people. So you could be having an ad running over there as a video ad as well as on the right hand side as a banner ad so you've got multiple uh, ways you can put ads in front of your um, audience then you've got the obviously the shopping ads which are on the uh, search network which i showed you earlier on uh, and those were these ones these can only be run if you have got an e-commerce website so that is the only way you can potentially uh, run a shopping ad but the shopping ad can also be run on on youtube underneath the video you can run those shopping ads so if you go if you're doing a, a product demonstration or a review of a product then you can put in ads about that that kind of product or that particular product uh, underneath your video so that's also another way of reaching your audience and the last one is gmail sponsored promotions GSP so they go in people's Gmail so if you run a Gmail account for your emails you would have noticed ads along the top so let me show you how and where these go so on in the promotions tab you see uh, there are two ads at the top so one is a capital one UK I believe that would be a credit card so you can have a really nice mini landing page over here even with a form in here or any other call to action which is a, a great way to reach your audience and they can be either forwarded to someone or saved to your inbox for referencing it in the future and this one is what is it a flashlight so now it's um, giving us a call to action to read the full story over there so to recap you got your text ads google display network video on youtube 
and uh, image ads on YouTube, shopping ads and Gmail sponsored ads. So there's loads of ways you can reach your audience and have a very comprehensive um, advertising strategy to reach at every corner of the internet. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like me to create similar videos like this one for any questions or problems you may have about AdWords, then please enter it in the comment box below and I will do my best to create one for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button uh, to be the first one uh, to be notified when I upload other videos like this one and I upload them on a very regular basis. I thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much and I look forward to seeing you very soon in my other videos. Bye for now.